though. Sometimes it just falls out of the grooves it's sitting in. Right. On the motor. It's not actually it's broken. Right. It just like slips and just drops. Just slips out of there and you're yeah. like, you're stupid. You know? Kind of annoying. <laughs> Super annoying. I don't know my window's still down. Yeah. But we're in sweaters. Yeah. I, I got mean, my Pugly Christmas sweater. We could do our welcome bake to Jeff and Jace right now. <laughs> sure, go for it. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, welcome bake <laughs> to Jeff and Jace. We're in a car. <laughs> but more specifically, and we're in the Wendy's drive thru <laughs> It's true. And Jeff's not with us. Nope. Um, missing out on the nuggies today. But yep. we, no, yeah, that's true. But but we're wearing ugly sweaters. We're getting chicken nuggets from Wendy's. And we're going to find some Christmas lights. It's the most wonderful time of the year. <laughs> <laughs> this is our Christmas special, baby. <laughs> I'm so hyped about this, my dude. I'm actually pretty pumped about it. Because one of the original plans for this whole podcast was, can we shoot it in your car? Which I'm really liking right yeah. now. Me I too. mean, it's working great. It's I'm kind of great. pumped that we're actually driving around. Because the original plan was to sit and drive driveway <laughs> right just yeah exactly. and just shoot it <laughs> thank you have a good night you too okay, i said have some... a good night to you i said you too to <laughs> yeah. you josh yeah. Yeah. Not that, guy. <laughs> that guy didn't say have a good night to me <laughs> <laughs> you did <laughs> i'm used to being alone in the drive through okay <laughs> all right where are we going now apparently we're going up slipes canyon baby that's way too far that's way <laughs> okay. far we're not are going, we going okay. up fowler I maybe i found the place okay it's near Fat. Yeah, it's off of Fowler. Oh, Do you want Fowler. to direct me to yeah. my Google map? Okay. Sure. So we know we're looking, there's a certain family who's got lights. Yeah. That's kind of what we're doing right now. I've got a bunch of stuff in my lap now. Do you want a divvy? Plus a coffee. I'm really trying to not to spill that. Oh, we can pull it up. Hey, do you want to pull it up on my phone? What's the address? Um, well, I'll let you navigate so it's not okay, yelling okay. at us during the podcast. So. Dr. Rule. Oh. Nuggies. You yeah, boy. You want some soa? This is gonna be fun. Yeah, I, know, like I don't the know. The iPad, the screen, the <laughs> how many, magic, the nuggets, the, here's the some phone, sauce. the zoom. Yes. So we are currently in search of Christmas oh, lights, man. which is one of my favorite Christmas traditions. Um, sauce right there. And I was curious, Josh, as yeah. a as a man who grew up in Augusta. Oh yeah. What's the Christmas lights scenario like up there? Very sad. Very yeah. very sad scenario up there. Not knocking, I guess. There are some people who put up lights, for sure. Yeah. I don't know where to put our fries right now, to be honest with you guys. Um, probably some, we've got some cup holders here. Yeah. So we'll, we'll stick some fries right there. Yep. I don't want to leave Austin without fries, either. Oh, a man without fries. A man without fries is a man without... With lots of cries. <laughs> 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 and there's some uh, napkins. I'm just going to... Yeah, no, there's not a lot of lights up in Augusta. Some, some people like to put up some lights. But it's not like the most incredible displays or anything. Right. And like one of the best displays in Augusta is some of those fake, like you turn on a switch, oh, nug it down. I got it. Um, like you have those little electric things that turn on a bunch of lights that mm. just. Yeah, they like project your house, lights, project on, your lights on your house. Yeah. Which just like scattered and unclean to me. Yeah, I think um, you can do it well. Right. But not if you just sort of buy it from Walmart and throw it up. Right. And so. There's not much. I mean, my mom puts up some lights on her fence. And, mm -hmm. But, yeah, I mean, I've never seen incredible light displays, I guess. Kind of sure. like you see pictures of. Right, right. You know? Even in Bozeman, there's not a ton of time. Yeah, I mean, you kind of got to go down Main Street mostly mm -hmm. for some of the classics. But right. then, like, I mean, some of the older streets, like Wilson and stuff, you'll see some cool stuff. Mm -hmm. There's that guy on Baxter. Speaking of which, you want to take a quick detour and drive by that guy's house? Guy on Baxter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's try Do it. Do you know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Not Baxter, Babcock. Oh. Sure. All right, I'm turning in here at this uh, Burger King. We're <laughs> I swear we're not getting more fast food. <laughs> <laughs> let's go but, uh, compare. It's turning into a nugget comparison night. You know, I've actually heard that, well, Burger King's... We had a nugget competition with the youth group. Did and you? Burger King didn't do super well, but um, they do, I think, price per pound. Yeah, it's 99 cents for 10 nuggets. Mm -hmm. Which is crazy. It's pretty incredible. Which makes you question the quality of said nuggets, but mm -hmm. true. that's neither here nor there. But there's been a number of times I've been driving to Augusta, and um, there is a Not Burger backwards. King right, on the right by the interstate in Helena, uh -huh. where you hop on again. And boy, the amount of times I will buy Nuggets? Nuggets there. It's huge? Yeah. Simply huge. Mm -hmm. Okay, so down this street, this is um, Babcock. Yep. Um, there's this one house in particular that's the only noteworthy 
house on the street. Okay. But boys are noteworthy. Is it really? Mm hmm. And just right on Babcock. Mm hmm. Okay. Yep. We're going to hit it up. I've actually driven by it like three times this year already just to yeah. sort of gaze upon it because it's kind of awe inspiring. Are we? I feel like we're mostly going to describe these lights to people since all the cameras are inside the car. Yeah. My black's dead, but I'm going to shoot with my phone. Ah. I mean, you can sync up like 20 different clips, Nathan. Perfect. You're welcome. I am welcome. <laughs> um, yeah, I know. I feel like kind of a concept is pretty true, though. Like, mm -hmm. you pretty much got to find a rich neighborhood to see the lights. Right. You know? Mm -hmm. But also, like, not only rich, but um, in the Christmas spirit. Because there's mm -hmm. plenty of rich neighborhoods that don't want randos driving through them in the middle of the night, very understandably. Right. So... You know, it's right. kind of hard to find like the right neighborhood, but yeah, for sure. That's why I so appreciate Tim and Ethel Gray, because mm -hmm. like they just put so much effort into it. Really, they they're a local family that goes through Grace, and uh -huh. they have a um, you tune your radio to a radio station that plays music, and then all the Ooh. lights are synchronized to the music. So we'll maybe do a little bit of that. We should try that out tonight. I think. Yeah. Yep. I don't know what radio station it is, but I'm sure it'll tell us. Yeah, they have a sign up. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. I'm very curious to hear what kind. Oh. Of because I've never actually seen those. I've seen like the synced up on YouTube or yes. Facebook. This is as good as any of them. Really? Like, to be honest. I'm it's, so pumped It's in. really, really good. I don't think I've ever seen mm -hmm. the lights. Okay. Yeah, I have never seen them in person. I've seen videos on Facebook. So. Okay. But this particular gentleman um, has been doing this light thing. We've, this light finally turned green. Um, doing this every year as far as I can remember. But I can't really tell. Are we receiving a phone call? From Colin. Hold on, I'm taking another call on the air. <laughs> Hello. Hey, um, is this the Jeff and Josh podcast? Yes, this is the Jeff and um, Josh podcast. You're live. I'm, What's your question? I'm, I'm calling in with a cooking question. Okay. Um, I have some ramen, basic chicken ramen, and I think it doesn't have much flavor in its flavor pack. What okay. do you think I should add? Drop I'm an egg for, like, in there. Spicy, salty. Oh, I was gonna say drop an egg in there, Colin. Okay. That's actually good advice. Yes, I would say so. That sounds like a good idea. Yeah. Um, I'd say shoot, so drop some, uh, shoot a bully in the Southwest fajita seasoning in? No. I would not put fajita seasoning in, no. That's a bad call. No. Yeah. The bullion cube idea, though. That's hmm. not a bad idea. I mean, you could boil it in bullion for the chicken stock flavor. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll actually, um, instead of boiling it in the... Um, in the seasoning packet, I'll boil it and then I'll mix the seasoning packet with a little bit of water and then pour it over top like a sauce and that gives oh, a, a lot yes. more of the flavor from the packet. That's a good idea. And anyway. I'll do it the soup style because then it's all diluted. Yep. Anyways, okay. thanks for calling. We gotta go. We're about to hit a Christmas display. Uh, Alright, thank you very much we, guys. We appreciate your call. Bye. <laughs> Alright, my dudes. Behold. This is it. This, so this is guy's it. been doing this every year. It says Bah Humbug in Christmas lights. And this reindeer, <laughs> if you can take a peek, oh, wow. that, that inflatable is reindeer rainbow. is taller than his house. This is incredible. It is. Wow. It's something. He, like, he doesn't even. He actually straight up just spelled out Bah Humbug. He did. With his own lights. He didn't buy lights that spelled it. That's correct, yes. And he leaves them up year round. And oh, he, no way. He leaves the Bah Humbug turned on. Oh. But the rest of them off every year. And I think. Excuse me, I think he acquires a new piece of lighting every year as well. This okay. reindeer is new this year, and I was pretty floored by the absolute scale of that monster. That thing is huge. It is by far the largest inflatable lawn decoration I've ever seen. What yeah. would you estimate the height on that thing is? Oh, buddy, I don't even know. I'm it's... bad at estimating things, too, so. Yeah, it's probably at least, like, 20 feet tall, I'd say. There's tall. It's huge. Mm -hmm. We're going to see if we can come down the come down the side of it. Is this the right street here? Let's uh, let's take a yeah. This is it. Yeah. All right. Then we'll take a left up here. But let's just slowly cruise by this one more time. Take a second pass at it on our way up to Fowler. Um, but this is, I mean, this is something though. Just his, he's like carpeted his house with yeah. lights, which is not something you would normally see. I don't know. I'm just really impressed with this guy. That is very impressive which is why the bah humbug is i like the irony of it right because he's totally the opposite of a scrooge exactly i mean that thing is just that can you see that reindeer in the yeah. in the phone can you imagine how much that must have cost him oh man my dude anyways okay that was stop number one of okay. two that is i'm impressed yeah so that's that's a that's a pleasure to drive by because even during the day it's impressive i appreciate that about it too it's not like um you know, like, 
you have to wait till night to see this guy's Christmas display. It's like, right. nope, you're getting floored right now. Because there's a giant reindeer. It's a huge reindeer. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're kind of back to where we started. We're back at Wendy's. <laughs> Don't worry about it. We, we can never, get 10 more nuggets. <laughs> never truly get away from Wendy's. I told you, Josh, I said 40, and you said, how 30. about fries? <laughs> well, the fries are a good choice. Mm, that's true. But 40 and fries. <laughs> true. Good name, 40 and fries. <laughs> good point. Dude, I'm doing band names now. Yeah, that's great. Oh my. Oops. Ross is flying around. Is that my dog? Back. My dog is also wearing a Christmas sweater. Mm -hmm. Which, I might have to get a, at least a photo of that. Yeah. Cut to a photo. Maybe she could be the thumbnail instead. That's a great idea, actually. We'll What's do that. Sweater. Yeah. Because otherwise it's just a thumbnail of us in a car. Which, Which to be to honest, be fair, that's... That might get the clicks, my dude. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You know? I'd probably click on a dog in a sweater, too. That's true. If we're talking about clickbait here. I'm really bad at clickbait, which is partially what I attribute our very small channel user base to. However, we're almost at 60 subscribers now. 60 so. subscribers? Mm -hmm. People actually subscribe to this? They do. Mm -hmm. I think I accidentally subscribed to this. I, yes. <laughs> you told me that. That was saddening to me, Josh. So, do you guys remember back in the day, you, um, Austin, you probably would remember this. There was a tree on the corner, it was further down. The pink tree? The gigantic pink tree. Yep. And it would get slightly more white every year as the pink faded because they left the lights up year round. Oh, but really? then they cut the tree down. Oh, tragic. Yeah. So that is, that tree is no more, but there is a pink bush now. You can see it right there. That pink yeah. bush? See that pink mm -hmm. bush? So there used to be a big old tree there. It was humongous. Oh, really? It was one of the biggest trees in Bozeman, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting. It was, and they cut it down? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I think it was starting to become a safety hazard. Oh. Because it just didn't have enough room to expand mm -hmm. its root base and all that with the building. It's next to that flower shop. Right. Flower shop, and I think there's a Greek mm -hmm. restaurant over there. Z's, 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 Z's Market or whatever yeah. it is. Have you guys ever eaten there? No, is it good? I don't know. Okay. I like I like gyros. Yeah, me too. I'm for no tomatoes in my gyros, but the tzatziki sauce is pretty good. I'm sure they will put no tomatoes in yeah. it for you. I'm sure they will, but never had that one. I've just had some euros in Missoula. They've got a pretty good euro shop there. Okay. I'm glad you pronounce it properly. Because yeah. I, I know a lot of people say gy gyro. Yeah. What's up? Right. Oh. If Should we turn Maybe. right? Well, not quite now because cars, but... Yep. I'm going to keep going and go okay. up to Fowler. That works. Can I merge now? You can totally merge. I'm merging. Merge, We're merging, everybody. everybody. Merge. merge. I'm only in flow. <laughs> Brian Regan that reference, Brian everybody. I'm glad everybody got that. <laughs> As in you and me. I don't know if Austin even knows. Brian remember? Regan? Brian Regan? No. Comedian? Yeah. He's funny. Here's a thing of fries for you guys. Ooh. Oh, dude. You can slide that right into that thing of fries. Yeah, you might have that up there, too. I don't. Empty, empty nuggets. Oh. I'm just going to plug some trash. Jace's <laughs> trash. Jace's trash. So, Literally. Josh, what are you drinking there? It smells very festive. Um, okay. I went to... Cold smoke. Yep. Shout out to pretty yeah, good the, the mothership. The mothership. Um, and I ordered from them a dirty black chai. What's in a dirty black chai? So, it's a chai, which is a, a kind of tea drink that everyone really likes these days. It's so good. It's from um, India. Yeah, it is from India. Black chai is a little spicier than the typical sweet chai that you get. Okay. So it's not as sugary. Right, because its like. base is black tea, right? Right. Yep. But it shows that chai flavor is just not sweetened. Like okay. Up the wazoo. Right. Um, and so, at Cold Smoke, they use a... A lot of shops use, like, this powder chai that they mix in with hot water to make it. Oh, sure. Cold Smoke already has a liquid chai that they... Nice. Add, they steam milk and mix that in there with it. That's nice. And then the dirty means there's two shots of espresso in it. Okay. Um, so it's espresso and... This is Fowler, by the way. Cool. We um, turned it void. <laughs> and, uh... Going through Chai tea. And it's... It's... Spicy, it's cinnamony, it's yeah. got coffee in it. That sounds awesome. It's so good. Yeah. I 10 out of 10 would recommend. I and went to a uh, chai tasting at the Townsend Tea House. Ooh, that sounds very yummy. We had seven cups of chai in two hours and I was so full. Right. Yeah. But they had one that was made of um, yerba mate Ooh. as a base mm. and I was buzzing, my dude. Really? Like, uh, I think. There's a lot of caffeine in yerba mate. <laughs> and five out of seven, one had like um, gunpowder. Uh, did I miss a turn? No, Nick's turn. Okay. I'm left on Ravioli Street. Ravioli? Yeah, it's actually Ravioli, but yeah. You know, we're okay. Ravioli. We're taking a call right now. <laughs> Hello, you're on the air with Jeff and Jage. Uh, hi, um, I have a question. Yes. What is your question, sir? 
Um, if Pinocchio said, my nose grows now, what would happen? Thanks for calling Jeff and Josh. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that? I don't know. That was, was definitely that? our roommate, Marshall. Oh, that was Marshall calling from Collins? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> all right, where are we headed now? Powder River. As a, as, I will maybe like censor this. Well, I don't know. Are we trying to dock somebody? Who knows? Left here? Yeah. Perfect. Um, anyways, back to chai. I would recommend if you're feeling festive and you want a festively hot drink. Yeah. I think a chai is pretty good at the winter seasons. It's delicious. Yeah. I'm like thinking like on Christmas Eve, you're strolling around town with your family maybe. Yep. You get some chai. I love it. And it's so like, delicious. This is yummy. I'm honestly not a huge tea guy, but chai tea. Okay, this is. What what radio station are we tuned in? Ninety point one FM. Ninety point one. This is actually very very cool. All right, so we will go put this baby in park. Tune it to ninety point one. Okay. Let's turn that off for copyright purposes. <laughs> <laughs> My dude. This, this is pretty is impressive. This like even just watching him. Right. And I wanna listen. Oh, it says Jesus on the tree now. That I mean that tree is really cool. Yeah. Also. There's a lot of effort put into this. Yeah. And the little um, rainbow dealios, like the arcs. Yes. That's really fun. That's really cool. Their snowflakes are just lighting up and these little Jeez. Wow. Should we shout out the address if people want to go check this out? Yeah. Yeah, we should. Shout out to um, 313. Powder River. Yep. Powder yep. River, Bozeman. Check out these lights. Tim and Ethel Gray, they're great people. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they have an amazing Christmas display. Yeah, seriously. This is probably the coolest Christmas display I've ever seen in real life. Hopefully you all are watching footage of this and not just... <laughs> yeah, if you're listening, <laughs> you are seriously missing out. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> This is tasty, um, my dudes. This is tasty. I really like this. I kind of want to turn on the radio if we can cut out some of this. <laughs> we'll just have it quietly in the background and we'll yeah. talk over top of it. There you go. It, I mean, even if you get a... A copyright strike. I have like, I don't know, a hundred copyright strikes. We're not monetizing this anyways. It's so. true. And it's the radio. So it's I not don't know. their radio. True. I don't understand how radios work. I just you can set up your own mini personal radio. I don't know if that's what they're doing. Yeah, they are. Okay. Oh, look at that. Is it just this one song, do you think? Or? No, they no. have plenty of songs. Oh, the tree is saying words. Yeah. Wow. Wait, is it saying the words of the song? The yeah. yeah. Oh, my word. And then... Tim, you've outdone yourself. Truth in, that's... This is something else. Does their daughter play piano in the youth ministry? Yeah. Is that Hannah Gray? Yep. Okay. That's as close to knowing them as I am, is I know who she is. <laughs> this really is detailing the amount of effort. That, you know, it's not like there's just some pre-made respond to the music preset for these. He went through and, like, set this up to actually... Do this for everything. He controlled scene. everything for this song. That's awesome. Impressive. I'm curious what the next song is. Right? Also, this is a really long song. It's been on for a bit. We've been yeah. here for a little while, my dude. But hey. But hey. This is cool. Hay is for horses. True. Accurate. Hmm. Boom. Boom. That was very cool. Next song. Well, I don't know this song. Oh wow, we got a, a swirly whirly dervish over there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the other thing is, they're kind of just opening their house up for people to come park in front of it. True. Mm -hmm. Constantly, which is very generous. Yep. You know? And, I mean, how late do you think these they run these at night? I don't know. Is that them? I think that might be. Yep. Should we go say hi? We should. <laughs> and we're back, I suppose. <laughs> we're back. 
That was fun. Had talked to the the Grays just a little bit. The, Tim and, the Tim mega and mind behind this yeah. whole project. That was fascinating. He was saying a lot of things that I didn't understand to you guys, so I started talking to Daniel Gray about just life in general. It was sweet. It was good. That's yeah. awesome. And we cut all of it. So, yeah. <laughs> um, anyways, I think we better start heading back. Wrap yeah, this podcast up. So, yeah. but man, shout out to the Grays. Check out their house. Seriously, if you want, you some should good. definitely see these lights because. It's something else in person. My I words mean, aren't going to do it justice. Nor is our video. Nope. Yeah. But it's pretty impressive. Thank I you, I wonder Grace. if they need to like, talk to their neighbors and stuff about it before they did it. They've been doing it for so long, I feel like the only time that would be is an issue is if someone new moved in, probably. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We can cruise around here, see if there's a little bit more. Uh, there's a couple houses. There's a couple lights over there. I feel like you'd be kind of demoralizing to try to put up oh, lights in this neighborhood yeah. because you'd be like... Tim and Ethel Gray are showing everybody we up could. Anyway. But we could also <laughs> we could just go sit in front of their house. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, though, I mean it's all you know spreading the, spreading the love. Yeah, you know Christmas cheer. Exactly. I think that's uh spreading Christmas cheer for all to move here. I have seen that movie. Yes, Elf, right. Mm -hmm. Still haven't seen it. Austin. Austin. Okay. This is the question like every time we. Get right. Together. I think we discussed this briefly. Have you seen Elf? Yeah. Yeah. Just you know what? It's okay. We'll watch it with you sometime. I didn't see yeah. it until I was in high school and we watched it at you our, uh, in high school? our homeroom Christmas party. We watched it. And uh, I didn't even know it existed until then. And then I think I've seen it every year since. <laughs> so, you know, that, I mean, that, that raises Carrey's a Grinch. good question. Favorite Christmas movies? You oh, guys. We haven't talked about that yet. Because I think that's a good Christmas worthy discussion. Yeah. Right? Uh, Austin, yeah. favorite Christmas movie? We'll put you on the hot seat first. Oh, good. It's definitely not Elf. Can confirm. Nope. Never seen it. Actually, I don't know if I have a real favorite Christmas movie. Are you a Grinch? No. Have you seen the animated Dr. Seuss's Grinch? No. Because that's a fantastic movie. But I just bought it. it. Oh, you, you better watch yes. that. Have you seen the live-action Jim Carrey Grinch? No. Oh. Oh. Also good. Like, better than it had any right to be. Okay. Yeah. I'd say. They just made a new Grinch movie that's coming out this year. Yeah, I know. <laughs> is it going to be good? I don't know. Well, the time will tell. Looks fun. It's probably out now. Yeah. Considering Christmas is in like three oh, weeks. From when this airs. Oh yeah, from when this airs. <laughs> in, soon. Wait, in how long since this airs? It's day tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. This comes out, what? yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. Um, okay, Oz, do you got a favorite Christmas movie then? I don't know that I really do. I'm kind of disappointed What Christmas movie that. have you seen? Uh, Does there exist a Christmas movie that Austin has seen? Probably. <laughs> but just nothing, like your family's not into watching movies on Christmas? Christmas, uh, Christmas. not really. What about no. the Charlie Brown Christmas special? Never seen it. Oh. <gasps> yep. Austin, you're welcome. Uh, okay. Josh, redeem this conversation. Okay. <laughs> I will. Re I have two favorite. One classic favorite that I've loved for a long time. Yep. It's a Wonderful Life. I've never seen that. Ah! <laughs> this is just the My car friend. ride of disappointment. <laughs> I'm so sad right Our now. list is incredibly large now, like our backlog yeah. of movies to watch. Um, it's a Wonderful Life is my favorite Christmas movie. Okay. It came out in the 50s, I think. That sounds um, about right. Black and white movie, maybe even the 30s then, I don't really know. Maybe the 40s even. Okay. I'm just, We're I assume movies place. don't come out in the 40s because of World War II, but that's a kind of, probably a wrong assumption. I can't think um, of a lot of them. Yeah. I can think of a lot of 20s and 30s and 50s and 60s right. movies. So you're probably right. Yeah. What so movie was this? It's a Wonderful Life. 1946. 46. Okay, well then we're both wrong. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? All right. Um, but then I recently saw White Christmas with Bing Crosby. Mm -hmm. Super, it's a musical. Oh, okay. Because um, I mean, Bing Crosby yep. sings White Christmas in it. Yep. And a lot of other Christmas songs. That's awesome. Um, Really, really good movie. Josh, you love musicals. I love. We just saw La La Land. Loved it. Loved it. Absolutely yeah. heartbroken at the end of it, but loved it. Yeah. Okay, so White Christmas and It's, it's a, a Wonderful, wonderful Life. life. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. My favorite Christmas movie, hands down, is the 1969 animated classic, uh, The Year Without a Santa Claus. Have you seen it? I don't think I have. It's <laughs> <laughs> like the Venn diagram of the Christmas movies we see at zero intersections. Yeah, it's just three circles. <laughs> three circles just and Austin's there. is no Christmas movie. I'm just I'm like a little dot over there. <laughs> okay, it's a great movie. Um, at least we like the classics instead of like I don't know, I feel like if you're Are there like, Fred Claus or something? I don't um, know. Well Elf seems like a modern classic. I mean that is fun. That's um, a fun time. But the Santa Claus movies are newer movies. Those are so dark though if you think about it. Like the, are you talking about the ones with um, 
Tim Allen? Tim Allen? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, they're so messed up. Yeah. If you murder Santa Claus, you have to become Santa Claus. So theoretically, Santa Claus is just this never-ending line of serial killers. <laughs> <laughs> right? Or just people who a- commit accidental manslaughter all the time. Mm-hmm. Who's that? It's uh, Sidney Rochager. Oh, hi. Sydney. Hey. Hey. How's it going, guys? We're Great. filming a We're podcast. We're filming a podcast. Right? So now you're a guest on the show. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's your favorite Christmas movie? Ah, oh. all right. Disappointed. Elf? Okay, Elf. Okay, we got. At Elf. least you've seen it. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we had another guest. <laughs> we've had so many guests today. <laughs> we've had more guests on this show than the guests we've or the shows we've had planned guests for. True. It turns out all you need to do is take the show mobile to get a bunch <laughs> of guests and tell them what you're doing, and they call you. Yeah. But, okay, yeah, so that's a great movie. Yep. It's an animated movie with the Heat Miser and the Cold Miser, if you've ever heard those I songs I really before. think I may have seen this when I was a small child. I just don't remember anything about oh, it. Oh, it's so good. I, Besides, I, The Year Without a Santa Claus fa- sounds familiar, so yep. maybe i just heard of it. Yep. But then you said Heat Miser and Cold Miser, and I'm yeah. like, oh, I think I've seen this. And Mother Nature's, but their mom. I think mom. I was like 10, yeah. and I don't remember a thing about it. Yeah. No, it was a Christmas special that my dad used to watch as a kid when it would okay. air on TV. And, uh, oh, yeah. And so that and the Charlie Brown Christmas special is my other favorite. Sure. Okay. I love those. But I like all the Charlie Brown, like the um, Great Pumpkin oh, one. Oh, I love the Halloween Charlie oh, Brown special. So good. I got a rock. The Thanksgiving one. <laughs> I got a rock. <laughs> it's so good. And then just, yeah, the whole Linus laying down the Christmas message. Yeah. He I, I love it. it, man. He seriously brings it. So, good uh, stuff. Yeah. Christmas movies are awesome. Christmas they are. songs are really, really great. Yep. Um, yep. Yeah, Christmas season is... is We're hyped I if think you can't tell. The more... The older I've gotten, because I'm super old, obviously. Right. You know, in my mid-20s. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just think I've started to appreciate Christmas a little bit more, though. Why is that, Josh? I, I think I'm starting to appreciate more things about it. You know, when you're a kid, it's like, yeah, presents. I'm waking right. up at 4.30 in the morning, and my parents are going to hate it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, totally. Been um, there, done that. But now it's like... You know, I remember, you know, we've got music. We're remembering Christ's advent. Right. His first coming. Um, time with family and friends. Yeah. And just, it's becoming more sentimental, I guess, in that way. Yeah. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but I just feel like every year I'm, like, more excited about Christmas. I think the time becomes less, more precious. Yeah. And it, it is less about the stuff, too, which I'm starting to love. I'm just like, I don't really care what I get this year. Right. Did I just spit on you? No. Okay, good. good. I, saw you. I have, uh, I just have little croutons <laughs> ah, in there. I thought I was getting you emotional, maybe. I was like, ah, oh, I'm nailing Josh, it. It's, it's so sentimental. <laughs> no, like, I think that, I remember the first year that as kids, we collectively decided we'd rather eat dinner together than open presents first. Oh, yeah. Because, uh, you know, we were all teenagers at that point, but it was just yep. kind of like, we just wanted to ha- hang out together. We hadn't seen, it was with my cousins we hadn't seen okay. in a long time, yeah. and so... Yeah, I don't know. Like, I totally agree with you. Like, yeah. over time, it's like, I I was, I remember the just, like, raw excitement. Mm-hmm. And I don't really think I have that anymore. Like, right, yeah. I'm not just, when like, I wake up on Christmas busting morning, at the seams. I'm kind of like, sweet, I do know I get to open some presents. I'm pretty excited about that. Yeah. But I could have slept in a little later, too, if I really wanted to. <laughs> totally. You know? Yeah, but then you get to go spend time with family. Right. yeah. And, uh, mm-hmm. I don't know, just, like, yeah, I don't know, just the whole meaning of the season as yep. well. Like, mm-hmm. you, as a kid, you go to the Christmas Eve service and you listen to the sermon and you're, right. like, you're just itching to get out of that pew yeah. to go open some presents. Mm-hmm. But, I don't know, it just is so much more meaningful as an adult. Absolutely. So I agree. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. It's good stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, we're really, yeah, and I guess as, I just didn't want, I hope that, um, you know, we don't contribute to the voice of over commercialization of Christmas too, because yeah. I do want to bring it back to what it's all about. You know? Right? Yeah. Because we've been hyped. We've been doing cookies. We've been doing sweaters. Yeah. We've been doing Christmas lights. <laughs> yeah. But I Which, mean, you know. But yeah, really, I think it is sweet to reflect on what happened at Christmas. That God humbled Himself and took on flesh and became a baby in Bethlehem, who would later die for our sins. You know. Yeah. Was, yeah. That He came <clears throat> specifically to die. Right. Yeah. Which is very sobering, you know? Absolutely. Like, it's not a happy Christmas message. No. yeah. But it's a hopeful one. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah. yeah, so, it's good to reflect on that this season. Mm-hmm. I don't know if we do that too often on public access, yeah, but we, we're I happy to do it. Yeah, I think every now and then we throw it out there, but yeah, when it is, it's good to remember these things. So. Yeah, so, mm-hmm. that was a lot of fun. Yeah, that was sweet. That was Seeing those Christmas lights was really cool. Yeah. I was pumped about that. Yeah, we are so psyched right now. Yep. <laughs> that was a great time. I really enjoyed it. Thanks for joining me, yeah. my dudes. Hey, thanks for driving us around. Absolutely. We didn't get any tickets. Yep. 
Uh, even though this was questionably illegal, yes. possibly. This yeah, is a large thing in my a, dashboard. Yeah, we're definitely I mean. <laughs> super lit up in here, too. I'm like, I don't know how well Nathan could see while he was driving. Because <laughs> eh, got, got used to it. Right <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that was yeah. good. Uh, thank you for joining us. If you'd like yep. to check this podcast out elsewhere, you can listen to it on Apple Podcasts or Google mm-hmm. Play Music. Maybe not this one, because it seems like a very yeah. visual episode. We but encourage you to actually watch, watch this. this one. <laughs> watch it on YouTube. Um, yeah, and... Check out our channel for more interesting content coming up. We have a couple things in the pipe that we're pretty excited about. Um, and if you want to check out our store, jeffandjosh.net um, is our website. Our store is linked there or store.jeffandjosh.net if you'd like mm-hmm. to buy a t-shirt, support the show. Um, other than that, have, uh, Merry, yeah, Merry Christmas, Christmas to you and Merry yours Christmas. from us. This is access. airing, I think, on Christmas Eve, actually. Yes. Yep. So, so, you know, if you feel like watching a very... <laughs> Christmassy podcast. Let's put some jingle bells in right now. Just to, yeah, exactly. So play us out. Yeah, play us out. Thanks for watching, and we will be here next time. Well, hopefully New not. Year's. Like here. Not in the yeah. car. Probably. Not. Maybe. 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 Fun. Yeah. We can just drive around watching fireworks next time. Dude. Yeah, we haven't talked about what we're doing. <laughs> yeah, no. Are you gonna be around? Yes. Okay. Good.